It's no good crying crocodile tears if you're fed up with the face you've got. All you have to do is to go out and change it for another. So let's visit the place in the heart of London's theatre land where they make these alarmingly lifelike rubber masks and meet their creator, Dyke Richards. Masks and costumes are made principally for show business, in which Dyke started by making props for amateur pantomime. When he began experimenting with latex for masks, the results were so realistic that orders began to pour in. Today, they can be made to any specifications. Dyke and his partner Eric Gledhill started this theatre zoo six years ago and now the place is a veritable jungle, alive with practically every animal from the common or garden hippopotamus to Woody Woodpecker himself. Eric, who makes the costumes and looks after the mechanical side, for example mouths that open and shut, was once a comedian stooge and he has a keen sense of humour that expresses itself in many of the outfits. This is the only place we can think of when you can see pink elephants and other peculiar sights without feeling alarmed. Although in any case, it's no place to visit if your nerves aren't too strong. Yet in this strange fairyland setting behind the scenes in show business, two men are creating masks and costumes that will give pleasure to thousands, a tribute to their ingenuity.